morning to everybody that follows us for the message for the day. I am Ramon Leonato speaking from the Ashram for Unfoldment in New York. And we come like every day with a little message and a little practice that we will do during the day. We seek. God finds us. We definitely seek for happiness, seek for wellness, seek for plentifulness, seek for sense to our lives, and then God finds us. But remember, the real architect of this universe is what we call God. Now, the God we speak about is a neutral energy, like gravity. So, Mm, this neutral energy, like gravity, you know, unfolded from the Big Bang to today, unfolded and created conscious beings, like us, which are conscious beings. So, that neutral force, which is like gravity, you know, it, 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 it is not a person that has likes or dislikes, it is simply a neutral force that unfolds creates the person and consciousness, an individual consciousness. So somehow that consciousness is inherent, like in a seed, in, in that neutral, impersonal God. So the God we speak about is an impersonal God. But how can a person relate a human consciousness, relate to consciousness? How can human consciousness understand consciousness the only way you can understand it is by personifying it because the only experience you have about consciousness is personal consciousness individual consciousness you have a choice act according to your temperament and with sincerity because one day you will have to get rid of the knowledge you acquire to become as innocent as a child and enter the kingdom of God. When the mind is stilled in meditation, expectations vanish. We seek, but the divine finds us. Studying the various religions and extracting their essence, we find people devoted to Krishna, Christ, Buddha, or another master. This devotion serves only the devotee, not the master. Through devotion, the devotee becomes one with the ideal of devotion. Then the lover, the beloved, and love become one. Then nothing is necessary. You have to walk the path, but once you have reached your goal, there is no need to walk. So, we are constantly in our minds projecting our identity with respect to others. And in our mind chatter, if we are thinking about family matters, we can picture ourselves mentally directing our thoughts or our conversation to our mother or our brother or our sister. And if we are thinking about work matters with our boss or an employee or you name it. We are always projecting our identity in relationship or compared to another identity and in this way we protect this concept we have of ours. So for today, only for today, do this little practice which is Whenever your mind is speaking, whomever you are directing your thoughts, instead of directing your thoughts to that imaginary person, your mother, your boss, your employee, you direct your thoughts to God. So speak to God today, all day. Be in His presence. Now, you don't need to believe in God. You just imagine yourself in the same way that you imagine yourself that you are speaking with your boss mentally and telling him something. Imagine that you are speaking with an omniscient mind, so a mind which is conscious of everything. Imagine you are speaking with an omnipresent mind, which means a mind 
that it's all around, it's the sum totality of everything, it's the mind of the whole, and imagine you are speaking with an omnipotent mind, which is the description of God. Omnipotent in the sense that it is the energy, the energy field that is moving every molecule and every atom and every planet. So it is that neutral energy that is it's omnipotent, it's what is moving everything. So for today, just for today, it's only one day. Whenever you are engaged in a mental chatter, direct that chatter as if you were speaking to God and you don't need to believe in one, you just invent this mind and direct yourself to that mind. Um, you can uh, personify that mind if you want, but you need to have a concrete form for that mind. Uh, it could even be um, a rock, a mountain. If you can see in the mountain the expression of that neutral energy, because that impersonal God is not manifested and the way it has to know himself is manifesting himself, personifying himself. So, you know, find or you can also find an object that that object represents for you that consciousness. You can, if you are a Christian, you can use Christ. If you are a Buddhist, you can use Buddha. Or you can use any any master, like for example, or any picture of a master, or any saint of your devotion, Saint John of the Cross. And just today, for today, only for today, every mental chatter speak with your concretization of God consciousness. So thank you very much. This is only one day. Have a very nice day and remember a well-lived day, one day after another, is a well-lived life. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.